yeah we'll take same uh, printer and toner example so what is my requirement is so when is I have... error condition price rule sir the one which you are explaining now what uh, price rule price rule i'll tell you i'll give example okay so what is my requirement in this case is whenever i'm selecting toner quantity okay whenever i'm setting printer quant printer whenever i'm setting printer okay i want to update toner quantity five times of printer quantity understand what is my requirement for example if i choose a printer one how much how many toners point what is the toner update man automatically five five, five. If I choose five, what is the toner quantity? 25. 25. So this one I want to update automatically. Okay. This is one example. Uh, example normally you can take uh, another example. If we take Wi-Fi router. Okay. Wi-Fi router. So what is my requirement is one Wi-Fi router. So I want to one uh, use only for 10 laptops. Okay, if you want, if you want to use one more, like a, a more than ten laptops, what you have, how many do you have to take, madam routers? Then two. If you want to take twenty laptops, how many Wi-Fi routers you have to use? Two. Two. So like this, this this type of rules you want to implement. Okay, then how we can achieve this functionality is. So we have to use a price rules one example. Okay, first we'll take this example. Maybe if you want practice, you can practice this one. So first of all. We should know, like uh, you are selecting printer, what is the printer quantity? Right, madam? For example, you are selecting printer now in the quarter. We should know how we can capture that printer quantity in the background. For example, I'm selecting printer in the cart. I want to know that printer quantity, sum of printer quantity, how we can get that it. Hmm? How we can get the printer quantity, madam, in the code line object, in the, in the editor? You remember summary variables? Anyone knows what is summary variables? Uh, dashboard type one of the dashboard type. One of the report type. Not report type. Summary variables are like a same like a roll of summaries in Salesforce. If you want to summarize either a product field, option field, quote fields, quote line fields, you can use it here. That's the basic. Now I want to summarize which one? Quote line object. What I want to store here? Variable printer quantity. This variable will store what will store? It will store the printer quantity. Okay, five times. How many how, how many times madam? Five times. Five times. For example, if I set five, automatically this variable will contain five into five like that. Okay. So aggregation scope is the sum quantity only. How we can identify quote line product code? equals to the code when a printer printer product code mm. so how we can identify which product is selected by using this product code if product code equals to laser printer that variable will store here sir here quantity will store in this variable but how much you want to store whatever the quantity i'm giving there are like five times of uh, Printer quantity. I want to show five times of printer quantity, right? For example, if I give up, if I'm selecting quantity one, I want to automatically update one into five. Then how much will come? Yes. Five. If I'm setting five, how much will come automatically in this variable? How much will come automatically? Twenty-five. Twenty-five. So how we can get that a? Is so here composite operator. You can see here. Whatever the, for example, I'm getting, setting one quantity, one into five. If I'm setting five quantity here, five into five. So it will contain the total five times of, what's that? Your printer quantity. What is variable will contain? Five times of your printer quantity. Understand what I'm saying? Not only uh, multiply. Just now I told you one more example, right? Ten, one router for 10 laptops. Then what you can do here is divided by. Divided by 10. Another example I told you not just now. For that, you can use that, that example. Example I'm saying. So now I will take this example. 
now this print this variable will contain how much madam five times of enter counted this now we have variable now directly we can go to the price rule now we'll go to the price rule <clears throat> I'll create new price rule. Donor quantity is five times of printer quantity. Okay. Should be active calculator. Save all uncalculate. I'll give 40. Lookup is not required now. We are not going to look up any data. So when I want to execute this condition, whenever I'm selecting a printer. I'll give one condition here. Whenever my code line product code okay, equals to okay, value this one. Whenever I'm selecting this printer, click save. I want to update the quantity of code line quantity. Is any other quantity field is there here? No. So how we can add the quantity field here now? We can add in which object price action I want to add. Price action. Price action code line quantity. Go to the code line. This field I want to update. In which object? Action object, right? Praise action object. Present. Okay. And which field? Target field. Nothing way of field dependency here. Huh? And object. So I want to show this uh, quantity. This one. You know, code line. Now just refresh the page. Code line. It's not coming. Quantity is there. Yeah, quantity. Quantity of this one value is here. We have to choose the source variable, summary variable. I want to assign quantity equals to five times of when I'm setting printer, right? Okay. You can test this one now. Let me know. Click save. Just edit line items.
Okay. So I'll select printers. The printer and donor. With the donor. Where is the donor? Now we need to go with donor. Now you can see donor quantities automatically should come five. Right. I will have I will just give a reverse order or what? I'm checking. What I have to give the condition is wrong. Oh here instead of from price rule. So in the condition, I want to set the toner. Whenever I'm setting toner, I want to update, update this one. So instead of not printer, so whenever I'm setting toner, I want to use this one. So what is the toner quantity? Toner code. Whenever I'm setting toner, then only I want to update this rule. I have to give a reverse order. Just uh, refresh your code and we'll test once again. When I'm setting code owner, that code line item quantity is gone. Okay. Printer, donor. Now you can see I have printer quantity is one, automatically donor quantity is five, right? Now if I'll change five, if you click calculate, see, automatically five times of your, this one, donor quantity. Okay, I'm clicking save button now. Huh? Understand how we can uh, use summary variables to multiply with them uh, and uh, divide and all the things. Clear? 10, 50, all this. Yes, yeah, sir. We'll, we'll see one more time the video, then we'll understand more clearly. Yeah, man. Okay, you can see this, all those things. Okay. <laughs> These are all like a prize rules, man. Okay, for uh, this is enough. This you can. Uh, Prepare lookup queries and summary variables. Okay, very important actually.